That is not a bad one. Hello everybody, welcome down to Trafford Golf Centre. I'm Matt Fryer and today I'm here with another video to help you improve your golf. Before we get into the video guys, if you are new around here, do remember to go and follow me on all my social media platforms. There's loads of great tips and stuff on there for you to help you improve also. And remember to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell button so you don't miss another video to help you improve your game. So today's video, looking at impact and address. Two different things, right? Yes, is the answer to that question. And sometimes, when I've asked students, when I've asked different players, when I've asked questions on social media, people get them confused. Think that, you know, what we do at address is what we're gonna be doing at impact. Now, ideally, we're gonna be in two different spots when we do have an address position and an impact position. Now, today I'm looking at an iron solely here, not looking at the woods. And what we need to understand and what we wanna try and do is give ourselves a good idea of what it is we're actually trying to do down at impact because everything we're doing in a golf swing is gearing up to this moment of truth when the ball meets the golf club face. And there's th certain things that if we can do them consistently and have these elements in our impact position, we're gonna see that we're gonna deliver the club better towards the ball and we're gonna be able to play better golf. It's, you know, it's quite simple in that sort of respect that if you get your impact better, you're gonna be a better golfer. You know, you look at any swing on tour, there's a lot of different things going on up at the top, halfway through, halfway down, but generally, they're all doing very, very similar things down at impact. So let's look at address firstly. So here for this purpose of this video, I've got a seven iron out now. So with a seven iron, I want to have taken our grip and we've taken our posture and address. We want to see that we've maintained some good angles throughout our posture. We don't want to be slumped down to it too much. We'd like to see something where we've had some bend from the pelvis, we've had a little bit of knee flex, and then we've got our arms just hanging below. We wouldn't wanna see that we're leaning too much, where we get into our toes too much and the legs get quite straight. Neither would we wanna see that we're sat back in our heels too much. They nearly went then, could have been over the edge of the bay, because that's not gonna help us as we move through into impact. So once we've got that with a seven iron, what we'd be looking for is something where the ball would just be in front of the center of our stance now. So you see my sternum here, I've just got the ball slightly in front of it. My weight as I take my stance here, I've got 50% in both feet. And as I put my hand in, you will see that my right shoulder drops ever so slightly lower just because it's lower than my left hand, it's coming down the shaft a bit more, so that does drop me under a little bit more. And then the final thing I'd like to see a little bit of is a tiny bit of shaft lean. We are trying to create something where what we're gonna do is actually reduce the loft on the club as we deliver it into impact. We wanna see that it's getting less. We don't want to be adding loft onto it because we're not gonna get the distance we want and it's not gonna help us with the height of the shot either. So that little bit of shaft lean is already preempting something that we're gonna be doing down into impact. Now, one of the things that we tend to see a lot of here when we're giving lessons with amateurs is generally that we'd see people return pretty similar back to where they were at address. Sometimes they move away from the golf ball, they stand up to it more, and they end up backing out of these golf shots and impacting the ball indifferently, a lot of the time behind it, or thin, but generally inconsistent. Now, what we'd like to see from a good impact position is something where, as we've started our downswing, we've actually moved slightly towards the target, we'd see that this hip now has broken that line I've put up on the screen from where I was at the start. I'd be here, I'd be in front more. So I've got more weight now down in my lead foot. My hips are open, my torso is open to the target a little bit. The shoulders, depending on the player, can be open or closed. And another thing, my shaft lean has increased. So these things with 
and iron are going to help me get the descending blow I want on the golf ball, helping me to hit down, create a solid, consistent strike, get the ball then turf, and deliver the club in a good manner to help me produce the best impact I can to get better golf shots. And one of the things I like to do with my students is put them into their address position and then just ask them to turn into impact so we get this feeling of what we're actually trying to achieve and what it feels like we would be feeling at impact as opposed to addresses where as I move here I feel that my left hip is turning around more I now feel I've got more pressure in my left heel I also feel that my hands have increased the shaft lean on there and my left side feels quite stretched as where my right side feels nice and bent in here now so I'm getting this nice descending blow from there then what I would like you to do is have some half swings and stop. See if you again can repeat the position and the feelings of what you've just done from just turning into impact. So we get here, then I get here, they're very much the same position. Obviously trying to do it at full speed straight out of the gate, you're gonna struggle with it because you've not done it before possibly. It'll be a new sensation. You might be someone who's used to backing away increasing the uh, the shaft lean here so it actually gets lent back away more from target and moves your body away from target so just doing this simple little drill of pushing yourself into impact and seeing and feeling what it looks like is going to help you start to do it when you start to hit some shots then what i'd like you to do from there is just start to hit some small ones with a seven iron so let's see if you can hold a little bit of an abbreviated impact position as we hit a couple of shots. So we'd be here, and I can feel pretty much the same. Really solid crisp strike for me there, straight down the middle of the range. And I got the same feelings I did from just that little putting myself into the position there, as opposed to just trying to hit one full out and quality shot, duffed it out the bay because I did everything that I didn't want to do that I was feeling before. I moved away from the ball, I increased the lean away from the target instead of actually increasing it towards the target and it didn't help me deliver a good impact position. So it's something that, you know, like I say at the start of the video, it's something that every swing we're looking to do, we're trying to get into good impact positions. It's, you know, every shot, it can be different with some people. I say you might be swinging it in to out, you might be swinging it out to in, you might have a little more shaft lean, you might have slightly less. But the, you know, the common things we'll see in any good player is that they do have some lean towards the target. Their weight is in their left side as a majority as they're hitting it. Their hips are open to the target, well, to the ball now and to the target, they've opened out and the torso started to open, like I say, shoulders might be open or closed depends on the player and where you're delivering the club from but those common things of shaft lean weight in the left side a slight bit of movement towards the target and the body opening up are traits we see from all good players so if you can just start to do it by even just rehearsing some small moves the chances are when you get into a full one you can rip it like that i need to practice more like this it works so really, really good stuff for you there, guys. Just understanding the difference between your address and your impact and how they're gonna feel different is gonna help you start to create a better impact position because you'll know what you're doing pretty much from there now. So give it a go. Even if it means standing in front of a mirror like you have here at the ranges or at home in the bedroom, whatever it may be, just getting visually aware of what you're starting to feel at impact is going to help you achieve this more so give it a go let me know if it works for you if you think it's going to help you click that like button down below remember to follow me on all my social media platforms and subscribe to the channel click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos to help you out with your game and if you do want to come and see me down at trafford center all the information is linked down below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video